This is an explanatory video from Acris Bumante. Uh, a number of my uh, previous customers have asked me um, how to get the best, how they can get the best out of their um, reconditioned soda siphons. What do they need to do to get the best sort of zingy soda from their soda siphons? Um, so I thought it would be a good idea to do this short video to show them how to do that. Now, here we've got um, two virtually identical uh, Type D soda siphons, um, one of which has been gassed up uh, with one carbon dioxide capsule cartridge um, about two to three hours ago and has been put in the fridge after being well shaken. And the other one, this one, has just been filled with water and left out to acclimatise to room temperature and hasn't been actually charged up with carbon dioxide. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you the best way of actually filling up your soda siphon and gassing it up. So it's been filled up to the red line, which is what you can see here. The head has been put on and screwed down. There's a bottom seal with a glass tube in there, which you may be able to see, and a similar setup in the other siphon there. But that's just been left in the fridge after being gassed up earlier. So what we'll do is we will gradually um, screw down the charge key with the capsule in, and you can see the gas is going in there. Now you need to be vigorously shaking that as the gas goes in to ensure that it mixes well with the water inside. You can see the bubbles are still going through there. You can still just about see them going through there. What you'll also see is the capsule starts to get some frost on it, or at least condensation. And similarly the head here, that's getting frost on it. And that's as the carbon dioxide in the capsule expands and goes through into the water. It needs heat to do that. So it takes it from the metalware on the head. Right, so you can see now the carbon dioxide has all gone into the water there. So just give it a final shake and leave it for a little while. Now you just need to leave it until the frost disperses on here and then it's fine. So you need to take the charge key off quite quickly because sometimes you get a small amount of water and it comes back through the non-return valve which is situated in the socket here and sometimes it dribbles out. So frequently you have to take the carbon dioxide capsule and the key off quickly so that it doesn't make a bit of a mess. But in this case, nothing really much happened. So what we've got now is two siphons, one that's been just charged and one that's been put in the fridge and is reasonably cold. It could do with being left in the fridge for a bit longer, but we'll see what happens. So we'll dispense some water out of here and this hopefully will show uh, the difference. We'll do the other one first in actual fact. So this one's been chilled and been left to stand in the fridge for about two hours. Right. That should give you some nice fizzy water that's quite clear and quite stable. The bubbles will stay in solution because the water's cold. For this one though, because the water's relatively warm, when we dispense it, frequently you get something that looks quite cloudy 
and you can see the bubbles on that glass are not really staying in solution. The gas tends to want to come out of solution in the water and get away so the drip goes flat quite quickly. So, uh, but there is also a difference in the mouthfeel or taste. So this one, after a short while, will taste quite flat. Not very sharp. Whereas this one, because it's had time for the carbon dioxide to dissolve into the water, it tastes a lot sharper on the tongue. And that's, I think, what people are expecting, is that the water tastes uh, a lot sharper on the tongue. If that had been left for a good six hours, eight hours, or even overnight, then that would tell, taste really zingy on the tongue compared with this, which would go flat within a few hours. Tastes hardly, well, if it was left in the glass, it would go flat within a few minutes, really. But the longer you leave this, really, in cold conditions, the better the later mouth fail is going to be. And that's the end of this video. Okay, so hopefully that will allow you to get the best sort of mouth feel and taste out of your soda siphon uh, when you're making your fizzy drinks. Okay, thank you very much. This video has been brought to you by Aquas Piemonte.